That is not what this is for. This block of sandpaper that came in your drawing pack, it is not to sharpen or clean your blending stumps. Mind blown, right? And I know what you're thinking, but my high school art teacher or my college art professor, they told me that that is what this is for. Probably also told you Prismacolors were the best and it was a good idea to be spraying hairspray on your finished artwork to seal it, huh? Well, that may have worked in the 50s, it's not archival. Don't spray hairspray on your artwork. So how do you clean or sharpen these? You don't, they don't need to be cleaned or sharpened. At the very most, if you are, especially with, I would say charcoal or pastels, if your blending stuff is super, super dirty, or if in pastels you're switching color and you wanted to use it, it's probably not the best blending tool, honestly, for those anyway. But let's say you were using it for that, just use an old t-shirt or an old rag and wipe it off. That's it. No, you don't, don't add water either. You, they don't need to be perfectly clean. I find they work better. I really only use these myself for charcoal or graphite. So I'm not having an issue with mixing colors together. Again, there are better tools for mixing your pastels. They work better when they're dirty. This one here, it's bent. That's how I know which one it is. I've had this one for over 20 years. It's bent because it got shut in the car door. It's very convenient for holding in my hand. But anyway, this one's about 20 years old. It's pretty dirty. I generally keep one side on these that is darker, more, has more, whether it be graphite or charcoal on it, and one side that is a bit cleaner. That's it, that is the extent of it. If it gets a lot of graphite or a lot of charcoal on it, I can either wipe it off on an old rag or an old t-shirt, or I can just rub it back and forth on a scratch piece of paper to clean some of that off. But you actually want this to be holding some of that graphite or charcoal. It works better that way. And as far as sharpening them, 20 years old, and its point is honestly just as fine as this. We don't use these point down drilling into them. And even if, let's say you do for some reason, that's a technique you've developed and you like it, just buy new ones as needed. What happens when you try to sharpen these is that this is paper. You turn it into this kind of puffy weirdness that when you do go to blend with it then, it's not giving you that smooth look that we typically want when we're using these shading tools. You can get lines that you didn't want there. It's just, it ruins them. You don't want to sharpen these. So what are these sandpaper blocks actually for? Sharpening your pencils. They're wonderful for that. So they are a must have on my art supply list, but not for what people often think to use them for. So stop ruining your blending stumps with these and instead sharpen your pencils on them. So these can actually make your, your colored pencils especially because we burn through those kind of fast and we usually want them to be pretty sharp. This will allow you to bring that fine point back on your pencil without having to actually burn through sharpening and sharpening again and again the pencil itself. So they're super, super useful if used for the right purpose. Well, I've been using these to sharpen my blending tools for years because my college professor recommended it. Just because you can use something doesn't mean it's the right tool for the job. Huh. You know, you're kind of doing a terrible job of sweeping my floor. I don't know, some guy on the internet said his college art professor told him it was a good idea to use the wrong tool for the job. That's what I said. Have you subscribed yet? If not, I have a handy button right there. It's round, has an orange arrow going towards it. If you click on that, that'll help you to keep up to date with all of my new art videos every single week. I have a whole new upload schedule. I'll, I'll have it in the video description. Also click on the bell notification icon because YouTube is terrible about notifying people when new videos go live. You can sign up for my email newsletter. I send out an email once a week letting you know whatever new content I had and some art motivational tips.